Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the movie Nefarious, which is a movie that is a Christian horror movie that released earlier this year. So, do we have a good Christian horror movie on our hands? Well, let's get ready to jump in. So Nefarious is a Christian horror movie that released earlier this year. I had heard um, not a ton about it, but what I did hear about it is it was kind of uh, doing pretty well reception-wise. It had a pretty high Rotten Tomatoes score from what I remember, um, especially because uh, the audience score was much higher and very different from the critical score, so there was kind of some controversy with that. Uh, so I remember hearing about that a little bit, and then I didn't hear overly of anything great with the box office, but it was one that I heard recommended from a few friends of mine and wanted to check out. So I picked it up when it came out on Blu-ray, finally had the chance to watch it, and I uh, wanted to share my thoughts on it, give a review on if I think this is a good Christian horror movie, and just my thoughts on the movie in general. So first, let's talk about the movie itself. I think the production value is really good on it. I really appreciated the physical sets and locations that they built and went to. I was watching some of the behind the scenes stuff for it and the prison room that much of the movie takes place in was a set that they built in a sound stage and it was really cool to kind of watch them put that together and see how that came out. So I really appreciated just the tangibility of it all. I know it is a lower budget movie so you got to make do with what you got. So I think it was really cool that they made the effort to build that set and then they went to an actual prison for a lot of the exterior shots and a lot of the shots around the rest of the prison uh, so that was really cool to see as well kind of in the behind the scenes them digging into uh, what it was like to go to those different places so I really appreciated that aspect of the movie for sure and then besides that I thought the acting was decent nothing necessarily stood out to me as either great or even bad it was all just good I will say that Sean Patrick Flannery, who plays the demon or nefarious in this movie, probably gives the best performance of everyone in it. Now, it's kind of required of him because it's a very interesting dynamic performance with a almost a sense of a split personality and identity. So I thought that was a really good performance coming from him. Everyone else is decent. Jordan Belfi plays Dr. James in this one, and he's okay. I feel like I've seen him in some other stuff, but I haven't taken the time to look up what else he's in. Uh, he's perfectly fine he kind of plays it pretty straight so nothing you know overly um iconic about the performance just a just a decent performance but um sean as the nefarious demon was definitely the standout for me and one that uh whenever he was acting or on, on screen which is the majority of the film i was definitely locked into whatever he was doing and saying uh his mannerisms especially with the character he had this kind of uh, eye twitch that would happen whenever kind of the demon was in control of him um and i i was really cool picking up on those small little details um as we're going back and forth between uh, the demon possessed and the non possessed version or identity of that character. So it was really interesting. I also really liked the music in this movie. It had this kind of interesting tone and mood that added to the uneasiness, uh, the kind of not necessarily scariness of it all, but definitely the more on edge nature of it and i thought the music did a really good job kind of setting that mood and building up those moments that it was utilized in i think there could have been maybe some more moments in the movie that took advantage of that music and implemented it more uh, but overall the music itself was really good and i did really like that now the overall story themes and messaging is kind of where we get into the more mixed aspect of the movie because there's aspects of it that i quite liked there's other parts of it i thought were a little heavy-handed and got a little preachy at times but at the same time the kind of message of the movie um, at least from the perspective of nefarious in the film is the implementation of demons throughout human history and how they have kind of created a slow fade in society and are causing these small little changes over large periods of time that we as humans wouldn't necessarily notice um, for all of these bad things that have kind of 
establish themselves in our society today. So it's it's thematics and messaging is really powerful and they address some really kind of taboo subjects that I was definitely kudos to them for doing that uh, and being brave enough to kind of convey that and present that in the movie. Uh, but like I said, it, it, at some moments it can get a little preachy and heavy handed, but that's kind of the nature of it within the movie as well as it's kind of bold and in the characters faces. So I think it's only right that they also do that for us. Us as the viewer watching the movie too so it's definitely a conversation starter there's a lot of stuff that are difficult topics that it addresses uh, in this movie even just you know typical things typical things you know murder everybody murders <laughs> Um, different themes like that of uh, murder, guilt, um, abortion stuff, all that kind of stuff is threaded throughout this movie in different ways. Uh, the actual control that we have over our lives versus what might be uh, demonic possession or divine intervention, that kind of thing. So it, it definitely is a really good conversation starter, I think. And like, despite some of its flaws with how it may have conveyed some of that and presented it, it's definitely one that I will go back and watch at least one more time I think to really kind of decide where I land on it uh, but for the time being I did enjoy the movie I thought it was pretty well done like I said good production value overall good performances good music some interesting themes and topics to discuss and present especially coming from something that um, categorizes itself as a Christian horror movie. Now, addressing that statement and question that I made earlier of, is this an actual good Christian horror movie? Now, what I will say to that is yes and no. So I will say this is an overall good Christian movie. Um, the horror aspect of it, it's not really there for me. Now, that might be because I'm used to watching traditional horror and some of the, um, you know, branches of that genre. But I felt this was more like a drama with some thriller, supernatural elements to it. Um, it's never explicitly like a horror movie. I can understand why they put that in the genre because, you know, demonic possession is an absolutely terrifying thing that can take place in this world. But as far as the movie itself goes... I wouldn't say it's all that scary. My, now, that might depend on your outlook on all of that kind of stuff and how you perceive it and understand it. Uh, but for me, I didn't think the movie was all that scary. It was more of like a supernatural drama thriller um, with some really interesting conversation. Now, it is a dialogue-heavy movie, too, uh, which might put off some people on a decent bit of the movie. Maybe 60%, 70% is them just sitting and having a conversation across a table. So if that's not your cup of tea, you might not like that as much. But I think it's all fairly well done and well constructed for sure so in the end i ended up giving this movie a three and a half out of five stars i thought it was good um like i said i want to give it another watch kind of really decide more where i land on that but for the time being i think it is a good movie and i do recommend checking it out and giving it a shot to see where you fall on it because it's a pretty divisive film uh people on pretty wide spectrum of where they fall on what they thought of this movie so thank you for checking out this review thank you for sticking around to the end of this video i will see you in the next one <laughs>